Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning coordinator framework beginner tutorial. This is our part number 39. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about Inflector helper in coordinator. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about coordinator framework tutorial. So basically guys, in our previous video session, we had seen about directory as well as download helper. Now this is also a helper section in our code igniter. So what basically inflector helper is? So if I back to next slide. So the inflector helper file contains functions that permits you to change English words to plural, singular, camel case and etc. There are several functions guys available by loading this helper. By the help of this helper, we can actually manipulate, change the English words into the followings. So now how can we use inflector helper to our code? So back to code editor. Now let's say that first of all, I'm going to make a route. So let's say route. This is something called my, let's say inflector. And inside this same controller, something called learn helpers. Inside that, let's say that my call inflector. Now copy this method name back to our controller. Let's say that public function and the method name. Now before using inflector helper, first of all, we have to load as we did in our previous video. So back to our method and let's say that this load helper and inside this helper method we have to pass our helper name so something called inflector so if i save this file now we can access all these functions what basically we have written into this slide so now first function that is singular the name itself declares is that it basically this is the function which converts the plural keyword into the singular keyword so if i back to editor now let's say that we have plural word something called let's say houses now we are going to convert or we want to convert this plural word into singular so how can we convert that so let's say echo now we can access the singular function of inflector helper now inside this singular function only we have to pass this variable which basically contain a plural value so if i save this file back to routes copy this route name browser and let's say that index.php and this is our route name if i press enter now as we can see that here it is singular word so if i make some zoom now as we can see that houses is converted into house back to editor now let's say that instead of houses if i put values like let's say cats save this file back here reload this page and now it is converted into singular form again go here and if i write something called copies let's say copies this is plural word now if i save this file back to browser reload this page now this is singular so the first function basically used to convert the plural word into the singular word now what basically this function this function will convert the singular into plural so if i back to editor now let's say that if i make comment these two lines and i'm going to declare a variable let's say singular word and now let's say dog now echo let's say plural and inside this function i'm going to pass the singular word so save this controller back to browser reload this page now as we can see that word is converted into plural word so back to our code editor if i again change this word from dog to let's say again copy as we know that it will be converted into copies so back to editor sorry browser reload this page now we have the plural word so let's say that what we have next all these two functions we have seen these two functions basically used to change words into plural as well singular now let's say that we have some words and we want that to convert into camel case camel case what basically it means so if i open a new tab 
let's say that we have something called my house now we want to convert into camel case it means my capital H and this is house camel case simply means the first word has a small letter and rest of all the words has their first letter as the capital value so back to editor now let's say that if I scroll down comment these two lines also and let's say that we have a simple string and inside this let's say that we have something called online wave tutor now if I want to convert into camel case so as we know that it should be converted something called online wave and the tutor so if we back to our slides second tab and now this is the function that we have to use so back to our editor now let's say that echo camelize and inside this camelize we are going to pass this string value now save this file back to browser reload this page now as we can see that the word has converted into camel case if I back to editor now let's say that instead of this space if we put underscore here again underscore here then it automatically converts this string value into this value so back to browser reload this page now the output remains same now we have seen about camelize function now let's say about underscore the name itself clears is that it converts a string value which basically a value which actually separated by a underscore symbol so back to editor comment these two lines let's say that we have a string value and inside this string value let's pass value something called online wave and the tutor now we want to convert this string into something like this let's online underscore wave underscore tutor so for that we are going to use called underscore inside this underscore function we are going to pass this variable so save this file back to browser reload this page now as we can see that the string is converted into lowercase as well as each space is separated by underscore back to slides now the last function we have something called humanize basically what this function will do if I back to this dummy slide and let's say that we have value something called my house number this is in terms of a developer this is a variable name we can't write the variable name with a space so that's why we will put only underscore to taking to declare a variable name but a normal human can't actually study about this variable it is study about something called my house number underscore is replaced with the space this is humanize and this is in terms of developer now what basically humanize function will do inside this humanize function we will pass this value and it automatically converts this variable this value into this value so back to editor if I comment these two lines scroll down and let's say that a string equal to this online underscore web underscore tutor echo let's say humanize and if I go to slides copy the function name back to editor pasting it here now inside this humanize function I am going to pass this string value back to browser reload this page now online web tutor is basically converted into uppercase as we can see each first letter and also the underscore is replaced by a space value again if I back to editor now let's say that I'm going to convert this value something called online hyphen wave underscore tutor so it will be converted something like online hyphen wave space tutor so if I back to browser reload this page now as we can see that online wave is the word which is basically separated by a hyphen symbol but these two words basically separated by a space character now let's say that if I back to editor let's make a hyphen symbol here save this file 
reload this page now all the words are basically attached with this hyphen symbol now we want to make it as a humanized character so how can we convert that back here now inside the second parameter we will say that we have to replace all the characters inside this string value something called hyphen symbol now this humanize function will automatically replace all these space characters all these hyphen characters from space characters so if i save this controller back to browser reload this page now as we can see that hyphen symbol is replaced with a space character so this video session is about inflector helper where we have seen that if we want to play with the english words how can we convert into plural singular and the camel cases and several settings we have so we will use about inflector helper so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day